Good evening, my lovelies. I do apologise for the lack of content. Literally been up to my eyes in everything but tools. Uh, still had a few packages. So I thought I'd do that today before I start up on the restorations again. Beautiful condition. And Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Uh, question with this one. Obviously that's not the original nut. But I noticed with uh, Jim's the other day, there was a spring inside. Does that happen with all of them? And if anyone's got a picture of the original one for this size, I'd appreciate it. Right, uh, what is that one anyway? Oh, they're both King Dicks. There we are. I bought these, some of these last year, so I've literally forgotten what, where, when. Oh, my apologies for that. Make, make you jump, make me jump. Uh, some of these that I bought, I'll be uh, appreciative if someone knows who, what, why, when, where. You know, for me, it is a learning process. Works beautifully, mind you. Absolutely beautifully. Dutty. Uh... This one's totally seized, and as of yet, I don't know if it is branded. Allura. Very nice. Uh, and I think, I believe, that's my first ever crescent. Very nice. All the same sizes on those ones. What have we got in here? So I'm sitting today. I'm actually sitting cockeyed. Now, aren't you sweet? Same again. I don't know if it's branded. Uh, looks like it needs a needs a bit of work, and I think we've got a a Mr. Rathburn situation going on here. Very loose, very loose, but beautiful nonetheless. Uh, city. I personally have never heard of them. Uh, looks modern, runs freely. Now, there's a screw in that one. Uh, this one looks like it's from a bicycle kit, tool kit. I think it's, I don't think it's motorcycle, I think it's more bicycle. But open to be proved wrong. Uh, are you seized? No, it's running, but badly. That's a nice little one. I like that. How cute is he? Or she, whichever way. Runs. Uh, modern. Looks like when the car boot stopped. <laughs> the seller put it on eBay. I wish I paid that for all of them. Uh... Now the screw inside, KD, Ford, so is that Ford, King Dick? Now one of you gentlemen were actually saying, did King Dick make for Ford? I think that must have been, I might have been Mr. Rathbone. And I believe it is. King Dick Ford. Made in England. Very nice. 
Right, let's move those out of the way for now. And uh, what was the loud bang? Right. Uh, apologies if this is a long video. Now, back to this with Jim. There was no spring in this one. Sorry, I'm out of, out of camera. No spring. Now, is there a spring in all of them? Is there not a spring? Is there a right and wrong way of putting these round? Uh, this was seized. That's why it's a part now, actually. So it can... Yeah, it's running now. There we are. Uh, very pitted, very rusted. Oh, yeah. Watch how you buy on eBay. It's amazing when they photograph things, how they manage to have it filled with dirt or God knows what else. So, that's going to be a weld job. Taken apart, welded, which should be fun because I'm not the best welder in the world. Uh, bought it for the snail brand because I love snail brand. But no snail. Does that mean it was modern? Or I wanted the snail. Guide. No snail. Did they not have the snail emblem on all of them? Obviously not. But that's why I bought that one. Right. What have we got here? Right. Yeah, that's another thing on eBay. More, more my fault than the sellers. Uh, the buggers don't put sizes or rulers or anything towards it. Now, I did look this up. Uh, I believe World War Two. I can't remember the name now. It has got a name to it. And it's just totally gone out of my head. Anyone know? Pop it down below. Uh, I hope I can restore better than the gentleman I bought it from. Now, this one I tried to... Let's see if I can pop the light on this. I always have this ring light holding my... Bear with me. And I always... Oh, look! We have light. I always forget to put the damn thing on. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I looked, and I believe that is Felix. Uh, but that's all I could find out, nothing else. If anyone knows any different, or anything. You know, part of this hobby is for me to find out what, where, when and why, as per normal. And the not knowing absolutely kills me. And this one. The stars. Is that a brand? Oh yeah, and look. Here we go again. Yeah. And to be honest, I only bought it for these two. This one, yeah, good. But I bought it for these two. Look at that. Uh, if anyone knows a better way of mending that, it is flexible. Where are we? Are we in the stop? It is flexible. So, but I won't be able to take that off. I'm not playing around with the rivets yet. I'm not experienced enough to do that. Beautiful wrench. I'd like to know what the three stars are and whether that is mendable uh, or is it just going to be uh, a display item. Can't say I've seen one like that. Right. There you go in there. What else we got in what else? Oh, here we go. 
Bought these a while ago, forgot all about them. I believe that's a, a good brand. Solid brass. So that's one of them. And, oh, there you go. Let's smash the place up. I hope you're still there. Are you still there? Is anybody there? Right, I hope I haven't changed the position of that. Can you see that one? There. That was those. Uh, yeah, the handle needs some some work. Unlike myself, I'd love to. <laughs> was it Ben had a whole heap of those from Tool Addict? I've never even seen them for sale. Right, excuse me while I move those out of the way. I'm going to stand up for a little while, shall we? All right. Uh, this is Spanish. Don't know who. 10 inch. Oh, here we go. Never heard of them personally. Uh, that looks like it's aluminium. So I would imagine this isn't too old. At a guess. Good nick. I don't think that's too old. Now, what's this one? 14 inch. Made in the USA. Yeah, drop forged. 10 inch. Is it 10 inch? We'll put 14, my apologies. Uh, don't know who makes it. Um, but I did notice in there some letters. Uh, letters and numbers. Uh, D dash two dash three. Whether that means anything, and there's something there as well. Don't know, don't know who made this tool steel. Is that a brand or is that yeah, tool steel? Don't know, don't know. I'm sure one of you does. I don't think there's anything on the And it just says guaranteed under there. Nice wrench though. But I bought this one for this bad boy. This is probably my my biggest now so far at the moment. Uh I got bid outbid on a blooming mean, thirty six inch. Trouble is it's probably one of you guys that I'm Bidding against. Uh, looks like it needs some work. Uh, yeah, and it's stiff but works. Yeah, record. Nice beastie. And it is a beastie as well. Right, that's that one done. What else have we got? Last one for now. And I'll let you get on. Uh, I did promise a video, so I thought an unboxing would be apt. Uh, this little one. Don't know who yet. Don't know if there's any markings yet. I can't see anything above the patina. Uh, works. And another pipe wrench. Same again. I can't sell tell a lie, there's something there's something there. But that's it so far. Yeah. 
another one and it looks like a very early one with a tire wrench same again can't see anything uh, very crudely made could be an apprentice piece that I hear you gents going on about so don't know and lastly in that one Another pipe wrench. And I can't see anything on this one either. So. They should keep me going for a while. Uh, there is more coming, but not yet a while. So, like I said, these were before Christmas. So, not quite sure which one I'm going to store first. Excuse me a minute while I grab you. Uh, haven't done my sticker. There's Jack down there. I haven't done my sticker because I have to put it. You toy. Got that for Christmas. Uh, yeah, absolute beast of a machine. And my other Christmas present. Uh, one by 30. Also, beast of a machine for what it is. So, I've been tidying, sorting, cluttering. <laughs> Raring to go. And hopefully, very soon now, well, hopefully another one this week, you will have another video of a restoration. As of yet, I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, yeah, I've been playing. Not this side yet. Love them. Love them. Yes, I have been playing. Yeah, if it moved, I wire wheeled it. And if it didn't move, it was a good job, because I would have wire wheeled it. There you are, my lovely. Uh, thank you very much for your patience. Uh, thank you for all my new subscribers. Uh, and something here will be restored. Right, I'll speak to you all soon. Oh, I'm gonna, at the end, I'm going to add another hobby, a clip of uh, another hobby I do. Uh, by all means, please take a look before you disappear. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Good morning, my lovelies. Well, I've been out for two hours doing my other hobby. I uh, haven't been out for months and months and months and months. And... This is what I found in two hours from two musket balls that have hit brass plate for uh, the horse. I don't think this is horse, but I could be wrong. This swivel there, a coin that I haven't yet identified. Eighteen oh seven, I think that is. But I think it's a French one, but we'll see. Thimble, ox knob, two buttons. Uh, don't know yet what that is. But the reason I've done a video is this little beauty found right in that corner there. And I thought we'll have a look together. Oh, looks like a looks like an Edward. Let's see if I can pop the other side. Uh, looks like a long cross.
What an absolute beauty. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a silver hammered coin. Uh, I would imagine this one's 15, 1600. Uh, yeah, I think it's an Edward, I think. At the moment, my eyes are painted on, so you're seeing better than I am. Ah, EDW, so Edward. Wow. That's a nice way to end the year. Anyway, catch you later. And there'll be more tool restorations, possibly now in the new year. I'm hoping to get the challenge done uh, from Ben, Tool Addict, and Jim from Hand Tool Restoration, and Jack from Jack Shed. Uh, but we'll see. Life does get in the way sometimes. Right, catch you all later. Bye for now.